soldiers and Nixon's coming. We're finally on our own. This summer I hear the drumming. Our dead in Ohio. Our dead in Ohio. Our dead in Ohio. Our dead in Ohio. Our dead in startling to move beyond the suicidal terms of mutual assured destruction by erecting a defensive fortress in space. Many Americans weary of living in the shadow of possible nuclear attack responded to the idea, but others fear Star Wars is an unworkable and dangerous delusion that while the proposal seems visionary, it repeats a 40-year pattern that has entrapped every president, liberal and conservative. Failing to break through the deepest political tensions propelling the arms race, each has sought a technological deliverance from a threat created by earlier technologies, has sought security in new scientific advantage. Here, an artist's projection of the president's vision. Banning into space defense to protect the country from nuclear devastation. U.S. spy satellites would watch the world below, detect Soviet missiles blasting off, compute the position and speed of each missile, alert battle stations in space on Earth. The first response, space-based kinetic energy weapons fire high-speed projectiles from hypervelocity guns intercepting enemy missiles as they are boosted through the atmosphere. Popped up into space, Earth-based nuclear-powered X-ray lasers fire their radioactive rays. Attack rays from land-based Exomer lasers are redirected by huge mirrors orbiting in space. Chemical lasers fire beams that burn through the shell of the onrushing missile. 
particle beam weapons with pulsing rays join the attack. Still over the atmosphere, the missile bus ejects its cargo. Multiple nuclear warheads. As the remaining Soviet missiles now arc towards the U.S., ground-based projectiles are volleyed into space. Their giant steel ribs shatter the enemy weapons. The final minute. The surviving warheads enter the atmosphere above the United States, are attacked by laser-equipped planes. Earth-based lasers and ABM rockets eliminate the last warheads. The administration's original claim for the Strategic Defense Initiative was that it would be a perfect defense. Try 